Corporation. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, oh, good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Boy, I had a long, cold night in this tent last night. Oof, we had to bundle up. Look, it even zebras bundled up this morning with little zebra. Morning, guys. How'd you sleep? Oh, they said they slept good. It was a little chilly this morning, so they're going to stay wrapped up in their blanket. I hope you guys liked my camping experience. I had a lot of fun camping, and we're going to do a lot more fun camping adventures this week. So let's just review some vocabulary. We talked today and we saw cylinders, and yesterday we talked about my can of beans. We talked about the drums we listened to today, and my water bottle. We're all in the cylinder shape, and the cylinder is, it's got a circle on the top, in a circle on the bottom and it's a large rectangle wrapped around which we're going to actually build on Thursday together to actually see how the rectangle 
wraps around in a circle, around a circle at top and bottom, and that's what makes up a cylinder. We talked about a cube when I talked about how we played the dice game and Mr. Ferrer packed me a cube box of chocolates, and that's actually six squares put together, and all six sides make up a cube. We talked about the rectangular prism, which was the tissue box, and um, also my breakfast bar, how we have one, two, three, and you can't see the other three, but there's actually six rectangles come together to make a rectangular prism. We talked about the triangular prism, the tent I was in in my lunchbox. There's a triangle, triangle on the front and on the back, and then there's one, two, and then on the bottom, there's three rectangles make a triangular prism. A sphere is a ball. We have not talked about a pyramid and a cube yet. We're gonna, or I'm sorry, a pyramid and a cone yet. We are gonna talk about those tomorrow. So, so far we've talked about one, two, three, four, five diff different shapes. So the next thing I wanna talk about is I wanna talk about the vocabulary that goes along with three-dimensional shapes. And there's three words I want us to know, corner, face, and edge. The first word we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about a face. A face is a two-dimensional shape, like here we have a square, and when you put these two-dimensional shapes together into a three-dimensional shape, those two-dimensional shapes become the face. So this square is one face of the cube. This square is another face of this cube, and this square is another face of the cube. The next word I want to talk about is an edge. An edge is going to be where two faces come together. So I have a face here, and I have a face here, and then the edge will be this line right here. It's where the two faces meet. So if we meet this face with this face, right here, this is also an edge. It's an edge of the cube where you can kind of feel that sharp edge when you hold a dice or you hold a... Um, trying to think of what else that we have in the classroom that's in a cube shape. Sometimes we have cube blocks, and when you hold that cube, you can feel the edge. It's the sharp part at the top and along the sides and the bottom. And the last word I want to talk about today is a corner. The corner is where two sides meet. So we have, we have this side and this side. We meet right here in the corner. So you can see I'm circling the corners of our cube right here. Okay, so and then the very last thing I want to talk about today is in the mail I sent you um, papers that we're going to cut out and fold together on Thursday to actually make these figures a cube, a cylinder, a rectangular prism, a sphere, a cone, and a pyramid. Try to resist cutting those out ahead of time because when we build them together, you're really going to be able to see what a face feels like because we're going to talk about it together. What an edge looks like and feels like and what a corner looks like and feels like. So those should come in the mail today. If you don't get it today, you'll definitely get it tomorrow because I mailed them on Monday. So be on the lookout for an envelope from Mrs. Ferreira full of six papers that have our six different geometric shapes that we're going to make together. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you at 1 o'clock today on Zoom. Hi, guys. Last thing. Assignment for today is if you could look around your house and find different shapes of spheres, which I'm going to try to show you here. I have four different size spheres or balls and different size cubes, items around your house. I have this little box. I have a, I think this is like a bath cube. I'm not really sure. I have a dice. See what you can find around your house. Take a picture of it, send it to me, and you'll get your homework point today. Miss you lots. Bye.